thought the uh, the biggest play or series of plays in the game is when it was 48-46. They went on a nine nothing run. Uh, I thought we had to stop there. They come up with a big offensive rebound, reset. Uh, Oglesby makes a three there on the baseline, comes right back, makes another three on the baseline. We lose them uh, on a stagger screen. And then uh, Marble beats us down the middle uh, on the next possession, gets an M1. So it's a 9 nothing run to take it from 48-46 to 57-46. And that was ended up being the difference in the game. Um, you know, we got to dig out that rebound. You know, we got no excuses. You know, we can't lose him. He's there. He's uh, one of their uh, better shooters and certainly known as a shooter. We lose him twice, and then we let Marble beat us and get an M1 in the middle of the floor. It's a great play by him. You know, they made those plays. Uh, I thought we had some chances to make some plays uh, that could have affected it, you know, whether it's layups or dunks or, you know, our, 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 th our three guards uh, went, uh, went, I think, 11 for 33 combined. You know, they were 6 for 22 on threes, and, you um, we got to make a few more plays with those guys. You know, we, we count on those guys to make some plays for us. I thought they had some opportunities tonight. Uh, they didn't make them. Um, you know, I, I thought that uh, uh, in the second half, you know, their ability to get to the free throw line, you know, albeit we had to foul a couple times late in the game there to try to, try to stop the clock. But, you know, they're such a good team at getting to the free throw line. They have been all year. Um, I, I thought the second half, their ability to get there, you know, what ended up being, I think, 18 times maybe. Yeah, 18 times to only two times in the first half in a game where both teams were struggling offensively to make shots. I thought that was a big determining factor as well. You know, our, and, and uh, you know, they cashed in, uh, cashed in on those. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's one of those deals where we got to get back home and get ready to go. And you got, we got another one coming right at us this weekend. Each Questions? Half, each half, you guys are one for 16 and one for 12. Did you feel like you guys were playing well at that point or just not making shots? You know, Marcus, honestly, I thought the first half we had great looks. The second half I did not. I thought they did a really good job of defending us in the second half. I thought our guys uh, were tentative in the second half. Um, I didn't think we were sharp in the second half. Um, in the first half, I thought that for whatever reason, you know, Richardson got loose for some open ones that he had been burying lately. Um, and, and But the second half, I felt completely different. I thought that, um, you know, Iowa did a really good job of defending us in the second half. Um, but we got, we got to make a few more plays. Oftentimes, that's what it is. You know, I was saying February and March, I think toughness is important, especially in, in a league where everybody knows one another so well and familiarity with scouting and personnel and tendencies both offensively and defensively. I think toughness is a big factor, and then I think players making plays. And tonight, their players made more plays than, 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 than we did. So credit goes to them. Coach, you like 12 blocks, and Ola Shenny had six. Maybe you don't expect that out of him, but just talk about how their block, shot blocks inside kind of changed the way you were attacking them. Well, I think two things. You know, one, obviously, it, it changes two point field goal percentage, and uh, he, he did a great job. Uh, the second thing I would say on that was my dad taught me one time if, if you hit a wall and it hurts, don't run into it again. So when you drive, you may might want to pass. Okay, we may want to we may want to adjust a little bit there. We tried to adjust, and and uh, I, I didn't think we did a great job of adapting and adjusting to, to that at all. And they had nine blocks at the half. We addressed it at halftime. Um, they had three more there in the second half, and obviously twelve blocks is extraordinary. I think it speaks of Iowa's effort and how hard those kids played here tonight. About the drive to the basket, uh, Tracy DJ. You've seen this play all year. They get underneath, they kick it out. Did Iowa defend that better than anybody so far this year? I don't know if they defended that better. You know, I, I thought that uh, I thought their shot blocking certainly. We did, a, you know, a couple plays there. We drove it and kicked it out, and then we just got to make. You know, you either got to shot fake again, Rob, or you got to or you got to make a play and make a shot. You know, it's, it's it's oftentimes it's really that simple. You know, I thought we moved the ball at times well. I thought our ball movement in the first half was better. Again, as I just told Marcus, I thought we missed shots in the first half. The second half, I thought they really, you know, really guarded us and had us out of rhythm. We've had a few times now where you come out kind of not so well in the second half. Haven't had that lately. Is that troubling at this point in the season? Yeah, I'm disappointed the way we came out both halves. Yeah, especially with the older guys out there. Very disappointed. We've got to get that corrected. Is that something you can sense going into that that's going to happen? No, it shouldn't happen. Our guys are... I got 21, 22 plus year old senior guys that have been doing this for a while, and uh, you know we got to be ready to play. How did you feel about Sam? I know he was a little. He was okay. You know I thought he was 90 some percent. Uh, it certainly, you know, 
mean, he, he was more than capable of, of making. He got some rebounds for us. I think he had four uh, offensive rebounds and had the first bucket of the game. And you know, we have no excuses. You know, he was healthy. How about Brandon's game? Yeah, but, uh, obviously had nine boards. I thought he defensive rebounded it really well. Um, didn't make threes, but had some good drives and you know, three assists, two turns, had two steals. Thought he was really active. Thought he made some plays, Rob. I did. I thought that he was pretty good. Um, you know, he probably had to have a couple of those defensive things that happened there at the end of the game. You know, back, but you know, we'll have to take a look at it on film, and he'll have to get better, and we'll have to get better. Anything else for coach? Thanks.